All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into it. NBA 2K22. Got a lot of stuff for y'all today, man. We got some OGs weighing in. We got a little inspiration for y'all, man. We got, uh, you know, we got Anonymous 2K TV weighing in on some stuff, man. Hey, we just got stuff that's all over the place, man. Also, we got something that's very scary that I saw. Ooh, a couple things that's real scary, man. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video because every time you like the video, it, it, it motivates me to put more content out and it helps us get closer to that also coveted 100K so more people can find us and more people can subscribe. And only 45% of y'all subscribed anyway, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button because we want to get that play button by the end of December. Hey, we might, we might not, man. But we didn't, without further ado, man, one thing I'm trying to do is not keep y'all up, man. So uh, let's just get right into it. So for the inspiration for the day, man, we got your boy Double DF saying, he, he just said, it's a little inspiration. I took it as inspiration. It says, if you're not willing to learn, nobody can help you. If you're determined to learn, nobody can stop you and i ain't talking about just stop you like from learning i'm talking about in life man if you're willing to learn things and you're willing to take stuff to the next level and and you know what i'm saying always pursue your dream goals all that good stuff man i don't think nobody can really stop you um with, with getting there it might take you time it might take you like my grandma said my grandma used to tell me you might give up you might give out but don't never give up just keep on pushing man you can get where you're going it's just it's just one of those things where it's just like sometimes it, it, it ain't no, it's just not your time, just not right now. Ozone also comes through to say, that's the way I look at all, uh, that's the way I be looking at content creators. You see most small content creators not growing because you give them, you give them a little bit of constructive criticism and then they get offended. Like if someone tells me uh, what I can do to make content, uh, to make my content better, that by, then by all means do so. Now, I, I, I get what he's saying, but a lot of times, man, people don't be trying. Sometimes people be hating on you. Like I said, like people come through and be like, well, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? You copying this person, you copying that person. I just do like anonymous and say, hey, uh, let me know do I need to block you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you're saying. So I had to do somebody like that yesterday. Let me know Let me know what you're trying to say so I, so I know if I need to block you or not. Let me tell you why I go ahead and get rid of people and knuckleheads and stuff like that. And like I listen to the constructive criticism, but if I know you just blatantly trying to hate on something, I just go ahead and block you because I get too much love in the comment section for me to sit there and focus anything on the negativity. That's not fair to the people that, that you got people like Fox that's always down there. We got Anonymous down there, for Sis Gang down there, Binary, guys like that always in there showing positivity. It's not fair for me to give any love to the negativity. So I just go ahead and block you and get you out of here because you're ruining their experience. And one thing you're not going to do is ruin the experience of my subs. So, you know, it is what it is. And then they think that they, they think they be doing something. And all you do is go back and search their comment. And you see this is the first time they commented or or it might be like um, or every time they comment, they say something. Hey, so you can get up out of here and the person that's agreeing with you, they can get up out of here, too, man. It don't make no difference. So constructive criticism is one of those things where it's a fine line because sometimes people are just being too harsh or if somebody they might be trying to come off as if their content is perfect and stuff like that but at the same time like i said you got to keep pushing no matter what figure what it figure out what you're trying to do find your lane and uh you're gonna get there man because it's just too much there's too many audiences on youtube instagram twitch TikTok. bro we got a TikTok where we just show all we do is print out stuff on a printer and uh and then we press them on shirts and stuff like we got we got over ten thousand like fifteen thousand on TikTok just doing that so you can it's, it's room for everybody to grow man anyway up next power dm says I, I don't i don't know if i agree with this yet but this is what he's asking why are people losing interest in nba 2k 22 let's discuss uh, want to hear community opinions. Hank the Tank says it's the seasons. People hit level 40 so fast, then people uh, then feel like they have no reason to play or grind unless they're making content. Then they'll just come. Then they just come back at the beginning of every season and then stop playing again. Um, then uh, one uh, general says if you want to if you want to have fun, uh, don't sit for 26 hours and grind. <laughs> I just messed up. Anyway, like I said, man. I don't think it's the seasons per se because we didn't have seasons last year and people act like they didn't have no interest in the game. I think it's just that there is no easy way to garner clout at this in, in, in this game right here. Like you could always, you could even if you weren't in the rep race, you could always pretend to be in the rep race at the beginning and you're going to get some love and you're going to get some clout and you're going to get all of that good stuff and that was one thing that pushed it forward but this year you you're really having to use your gameplay uh be be 
uh, entertaining. You got to do a lot of stuff of your own volition in order to garner anything. Like I said, man, my views are as high as they ever been, but I don't get no views anyway. So it's, it's, it's difficult for me to see. I don't think people really losing interest. I think they're just losing interest in that old style. And we all have to come up with a new style in order to, uh, you know what I'm saying? In, in order to get out, in order to, to re-garner the subs and, and, and make people really, really get back into it or whatever. Like I said, there's a lot of people out there doing very well. But at the same time, this is the, this is ready to begin. And so it's hard to judge right now. But I don't think people are losing interest. And I don't think it's really the seasons per se. Because we didn't have seasons last year. And then, you know, people just beat the game down. And the content creators pretty much ruined next gen. And nobody really wanted to play the game or, or watch it or what have you. So, And I think it was just a, a, lot, a lot of the fact that there was a shortage on the game, too. We just didn't have a lot of people with it. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is it the seasons? Or do y'all think that... Uh, Y'all haven't lost interest in the game, uh, and and y'all don't really know what he's talking about. I don't know. Up next, we got 2K coming out with our latest patch on current gen is live with more fixes, uh, more fixes to improve overall experience uh, of NBA 2K22. Full details. I'm gonna spare y'all the full details, man. Uh, really, they just fixed the rebirth joint, and uh, they fixed a couple of other things, man. But it, it, I mean, and obviously they they loaded the joint in uh, where you can go to the island. So that's that's all that really is, man. That's, that's it wasn't really a whole lot of stuff. Um, Brute did a video on that. Y'all can go watch that. Check that out. Up next, your boy Dime Work. Boy, that boy Dime Work say he got this move right here, man. Check this thing out, man. It's a new move out the corner. I said, teach me, sensei. Look at this right here. Okay, we don't care about that part right there. We want to see when he get down the court. Look at that. Look at him. Throw that thing to the counter. Whoop, psych, psych your mind. Hot back, trays up. Splash down. Look at that thing, man. Let's run that thing bike real quick, man. Look at that. Like, this can be something dangerous. If you somebody that, uh, that plays out of the corner like, whoop, psych your mind, trays up, splash down. That's a deadly move out of the corner. I do, I do tell you that I will agree with that, man. Um, if anybody knows what hop back that is, that LeBron James hop back or whatever, I don't know. I don't know. I know they killed the walk back, and now they gave birth to the run back and stuff like that, man. And then they said they, they patched out the Pippin run back or something, or they 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 got that out of out of there or something too, man. I don't know how true that is, but hey. It is what it is. I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do and all that good stuff. But uh, you know, y'all let me know what y'all think down about that down in the comment section, man. Up next, you got your boy Bear the Beast said he got the best center rebirth bill on that on that. Ass. Hey, look, man. Look at Bear the Beast. He's he showing you how to do this thing, man. Look. Um, I don't know. I don't know, like, like this is a big bill, man. This is just like a seven-two center or something like that. But uh, pretty much, he's just giving you the um the best. Center bill, but this dude's silly. This dude's silly as hell, man. Look at like when he look at how he talk about the the how they went on the um you know Halloween and stuff, and he had the bear costume. And then look at this dude, man. When he's telling you how to how to uh you know what I'm saying? He's he telling you how to use the center and all that good stuff, man. I ain't gonna play no music or whatever. I can't have no copyright and all that. But if y'all wanna hear all that, go over there and check the video out, man. Link is down in the description, man. Let's help, 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 help it help people a lot, man. And it's free to show love, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Up next, this is something that is very scary. I'm just gonna let y'all watch this right here. The caption says, Chef finally works after the patch. This is with bronze. Great work, 2K, on recognizing it wasn't working properly. This is Bronze Chef right here. Let me close that because I don't want to get a copyright. Now, he does have his takeover, but get day, boy. If you're South Carolina, you know get day. Trays up. Splash. Now, get your, get out here with Bronze Chef. Cook him. Trays up. Oh, my God. Listen, man. This is one of them things with 2K, man. I don't understand why we're pushing so hard to fix offense when it's already hard to stop people. We're pushing so hard to push and make sure that offense is working when defense is suffering so badly. One of the only ways that we used to be able to defend people was to keep them off the three-point line and, and stuff like that because we knew they couldn't shoot back there. Like, 
One, it was like you had you you know you know how you know if you play DB you use the sideline as a defender. Also, we were using the half court line and 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 the hash as a defender because we if we we knew if we pushed them back that far they really couldn't take that shot. With shelf being fixed, that's gonna be crazy, man. People are just gonna be hitting the shots and it's it's gonna be man it's gonna be something else, man. I don't know, man. I, I don't know how this really gonna work out. I'm telling you right now, I really don't like it. And all that good stuff, man. But we gonna we gonna figure it out. Up next, your boy. Uh, Y'all, let me know if that a, is that a W or that a L. Like limitless spot up should work a little bit better than it works. But I I just don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, up next, man. Uh, iPod King Carter. He asked this question: Why is it that after YouTubers make a bill video to help help out other create uh, help others create NBA 2K nerfs the bill? I, I mean, I just uploaded my rebirth video on YouTube and 2K said, nope, he is going to be the only one running around with this monster. And so more or less what he's saying is like when you when you make a build or something like that, or you put that build video out there, the next thing you know, they nerfed the video. They nerfed the bill. That's why I, like, I, I try to make bills. I don't really make bills. It's like between the margins. I make the ones that's kind of unnerfable. We just go by the, by the, uh, by exactly what what you can do and what the game allows you to do and we see the numbers like i know i need a 70 block on this guy i know i need this much steel i know i need this and that so we we we, we go by that but sometimes when you make one that is between the numbers man and and like that they can they can nerf it like one thing i feel like they did get that shot out of here man you hold on man. Shit out of here, nigga. that's what i'm talking about right there now this is obviously pre-patch gameplay when you still could get chased downs and stuff like that but but you know like i said they'll do something like that i'll tell you that you need 70 block in order to block shots and then it'll be like yo uh they nerf chase downs and stuff like that 21 percent bro i'm so tired of seeing stuff like that but you know it is what it is like i said nerf defense uh deep defense is what needs to be nerfed but anyway like i said i part i understand what you're saying man i, I can dig it um we want people to be able to enjoy these bills and we put them out and then people people are like hey man this bill sucks now it's no longer valid and that is a hurtful feeling when that happens uh lake affair says once again this would this would be uh all right so he says once again this would be the best game for 2k to make one uh make one of the 2v2 courts uh non make it take it so losers out but once again y'all were popping here on these replies talking about five years ago and a lot of people go, what he's saying is a lot of people talking about five years ago when, when it was like 2k 16 or 17 it was 2k 17 they made the twos uh two, it was 17 or 18 i can't remember i think it was 17 they made the twos um they made it so on the twos it was losers out it had to be 17 it was 17 because me and brute played a lot and didn't lose then then either twos was losers out so you had to play defense and you couldn't just come on there with the cheesy bill because you knew you were going to have to play defense a lot of people back then all they would do on the twos is just straight pick and roll pick and roll pick and roll and uh you know just cheese the game like that but when Luke, when it was like that and they changed it and uh for a couple of weeks and then people just cried man they need to change it back they need to change it back they need to change it back they changed it back man and it just um i think a lot of the community lost interest in it i think twos were as popular as ever when it was uh losers out via the community but the content creators all or, or the vocal minority always gonna have the, the the biggest voice in something like that and so what ended up happening was the vocal minority they they just overshadowed everybody and they got it changed back within a couple of weeks y'all let me know was that 16 or 17 when it happened i just can't remember right off the top of my head i want to say it was 17 if i mean 17 or 18 i want to say it was 17 but you know i could be wrong man anyway uh up next you got your boy luck df says 2k22 is pointless to play once you hit level 40 true or false i'm not gonna say it's pointless to play because a lot of times you can you can do some stuff and and you can work on new builds and you can work on you just you know say you just work on your game keep yourself keep your sharp self sharp but i do agree that i felt like with the season system the season system needed to be combined with some type of persistent rep and what i'm saying is if they had some type of persistent rep, it's like you keep pushing toward it, but then you get the season pass. But what may come with that is they're going to charge us 
for the season pass. And I don't know if we're ready for that. Y'all let me know, would y'all pay for the season pass if they had the normal rep race or whatever? Or, or are you going to, don't, I don't know, man. Up next, y'all let, let me know down in the comment section, man. Up next, that is a long video today, man. Uh, we got Luck DF again. He says, we need new events on current gen NBA 2K22. I don't, uh, I don't mean double rep events. We need reward, uh, reward events such as unlimited boost, clothes, uh, events that make the game fun. It seems so dry with no events. If two, NBA, if 2K expects the game to last, uh, they need to put in some type of event seriously. But I mean, it's current gen. It's not their. It's not their focus. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Current gen is just not their focus, bro. They like they they made the game and it is out there, but. It's just not that main focus, man. Um, y'all let me know if y'all agree down in the comment section. Do we need, I think we need more events and stuff to make us play on next gen, but current gen, I'm like, I feel like they're trying to phase that out, so they're doing that uh, for a reason, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Up next, IQ Contain, unpopular opinion. 6 3v3 courts and 6 2v2 courts is too many for one individual server on 2k and uh this was the best that we ever had and you know this was just the courts where it was the six courts around the two uh two twos courts in the middle man i mean i always thought that was cool right there um or you know like hank the tank says download you know the sunset beach uh you know those was cool right there too uh y'all let me know i don't i don't know to me to me i don't even play twos so it, it just is what it is. So we'll do that. And last but not least, we got my boy, Anonymous 2K TV, asking, please fix defense. Look at this, man. We're going to show y'all two videos and then we're going to get up out of here, man. Look at this. He goes up, the dude goes up right into his chest. He got him cut off, goes up into his chest. Ball goes in, 25% cover. Anonymous, I think he got 60 interior defense. So, you know, this is a short, this is a smaller fellow, all that. This is a bad shot, regardless of what. So, I'm like, okay, that's a 50-50 shot, whatever. That goes in. We, I, Can we be too mad at it? Who knows? But this, this is egregious. Like, look at this, man. He goes left. He already trying to left-right him. He, he's showing you that he ain't really got nothing. You know what I'm saying? He stopped making pick the ball up, standing right in front of him, lays the ball up 100% smothered and goes in. And like somebody was saying in the comment section yesterday, it was like, yo, you can't get mad if one of those goes in every once in a while. This is a video game. It should never go in 100% smothered means that you have literally made the worst possible decision ever. You, it, the ball, it, it shouldn't go in, man. It should never go in. It should go in. 100% smothered should not go in ever. That means you had nowhere to go. You had no business shooting the ball. And you, you just, it, it, it shouldn't go in, man. It is what it is, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Like I said, man. I think this is part of 2K's big finesse where they are they nerfing defense and tuning this game and making it almost like the current gen game. Like we me and Brute kept saying, if y'all keep doing this, this is gonna be like the current gen game. You're not gonna be able to play defense and all this and that. And I thought about it. Maybe that is their goal. They want to make this game as close to current gen as possible so that when people come across, then they, they don't experience a real culture shock and they don't just go back to the other game. It's like it's gonna be the current gen, you can't steal the ball, you can't do anything, you can't you can't play defense, you can't do any of that stuff. You hit every shot, all of that stuff. So maybe they want it to be the same way with next gen so that when the people come over from current gen, they don't experience, like I said, they don't experience a big culture shock and it's, it's pretty much the same game. Maybe that's what they're doing, man. Maybe we think they don't know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing and they, they're just trying to lure people to this game and the more it goes that direction, the more the people that play current gen will be apt to come do it, man. Maybe that's what it is, man. I don't know. But one thing I do know, if they keep nerfing defense and tank, taking it down, but, but they're making a concerted effort to raise the offense, I'm telling you, man, the people that actually, actually play the game, not just the super, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, actually, you know what? The casuals are who carry the game, man. Like, hardcore fans get you in the building and keep the lights on. The casuals buy you a Ferrari. And so that's who they're really going to go toward. So I, I get it. But you don't want to ruin the experience of the people that, I guess you really wouldn't care though if you got a Ferrari though. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do y'all think I'm on to something or or am I just talking blowing smoke, man? Uh hopefully y'all enjoyed the video, man. I know it was a little bit long. I had way too many topics today, man. Um, but we got them all covered and we out of here. I'ma holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. These little niggas online keep taking stabs at us, but I'm too stingy to even give half a fuck. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.